Okay, let's see if we can make some sense of this. We're trying to find the cosine of the difference of two angles. And this identity right here lets us rewrite that in this form right here. So we have the cosine of x minus y. The minus sign is on the bottom here. That corresponds to a plus here. So I put the letters M and N for these two angles. These are angles, by the way. The angle that has a sine of X, the angle that has a cosine of Y are represented by M and N. So I rewritten it using identity 12, just like this. And then I drew these little figures up here to help us see what the situation is. Here's an angle, theta, that has a sine of x over 1. That's what this angle is right here. Uh, it, we're taking the cosine of m, the angle that has a sine of x. Well, if an angle has a sine of x, x over 1, then by the Pythagorean theorem, th this adjacent side is the square root of 1 squared minus x squared, Pythagorean theorem. So the cosine of the angle that has a sine of 1 is the square root of 1 minus x squared over 1. And that's why I've, re so I've taken the cosine of the angle that has a sine of x, and the cosine of that angle is the square root of 1 minus x squared. The cosine of the angle that has a cosine of y is y. And similarly over here, the sine of an angle that has a sine of x is x. But the sine of an angle that has a cosine of y, that's this alpha right here, cosine is y over 1. By the Pythagorean theorem, the sine of that angle is the square root of 1 minus y squared over 1, opposite over hypotenuse. So I could rewrite this finally as y times the square root of 1 minus x squared plus x times the square root of 1 minus y squared. And that satisfies the directions. No trigonometric functions. Assume x and y are positive in the domain of the given inverse function. That means we're in the first quadrant. So we can use uh, right triangles. There you go. I think that should be your answer. If you have any questions, post a comment.